G'day there folks, I'm Beanie, you're watching Beanie Draws, and in this video will probably be part 3 of T-Rex vs Indominus Rex cartoon style. I will probably have to do a realistic style at some point, but for now, I'm in the mood for drawing cartoon dinosaurs, so I'm going to get to it. I'm using a scene from where um, Indominus Rex is walking up towards T-Rex as T-Rex is on the floor, as my visual point of reference, but I'm just gonna see if I can actually even fit um, Indominus Rex in this picture at all. I think I'm gonna have to redo the layout of Indominus Rex. So I haven't given myself much room for Indominus Rex. See if I've got enough room to fit her into this little spot. So what I'll do, I'll definitely have to have like you know room for a head. It's going to be at a bit of an angle, so um, I think what I might do is I might have her head, which has got a bit of a, like a you know, semicircle that comes out to a angle, maybe a, like a, a quarter circle maybe. Either way, she's got kind of that shape, and I'll have her mouth open, might make her mouth wider than that, so I'll give like a bit of a wide stance like that. She's going to have a quite a wide mouth, a wide mouth like that. I'm going to draw in a slight bit of the underneath of her mouth, so it's kind of going to have like a bit of an angle. And I'm thinking, I'm going to put a little circle here. I'm just debating whether whether she's going to be facing us or like walking towards them. I'm not sure. So I'm going to try and make a body a little bit wide, longer out, and then bring her tail just straight up. I think. See if that kind of works. Don't have an awful much room for this one. See how that works. And that might make the tail come further down instead. So I think I'll have her tail coming down and around. So it looks like she's walking around and circling T Rex and Raptor. That way we have her size. But hopefully we've also got enough chance. Actually, I'm, I might make her body a little bit smaller. Because I want it to be balanced out with this side of the body. So I'll make her body a little bit smaller. Now get... Um, we got a lot of mess going on. So I'll draw the body coming out a bit. Tail coming out a bit. Wrapping around. So I want it to be cute, but realistic at the same time. Like how I've drawn this, kind of, you know, sort of a realistic-ish kind of style, but cute style as well. I'll draw the back of the head. So I'll draw the neck. And that'll come down to her shoulder area, which will be about there. The back will be about there. Tail will be about there. The tail will wrap around itself. Give her some shoulders. So give her some um some shoulders like that. So I'll draw some so little ovals, some elbows, and then her big claw. I'll draw a big claw up there, and then another claw there, another claw there and then the thumb claw around there so something like that and i'll just draw the fingers in there some more fingers more fingers circle to give you an idea where where the ankle will go or the um the wrist i should say and then maybe kind of like that now we'll draw the chest so like a chest circle probably be about there Work more on the jaw, so I'll draw a bit of a line there and a 
the squarish look to the back of her jaw and a line coming down so you'll see you'll see the back of her jaw and like sort of like the connector the other side of her jaw and some sort of neck fold in between and then connect those bits to the front of her chin so the chin will come out to, towards sort of two bits of the jaw like to understand what i mean touch the tip of your chin and then feel the the back end of your jaw where you're like when you open your mouth feel that part of like the pointy part of your jaw and see how those two parts of your jaw are wide apart then follow the jaw bone towards your chin and see how it gets closer towards a point and then also you'll feel that those two bone parts of your jaw are quite sort of solid and then in between those parts is flesh that would be where your esophagus kind of goes towards and your skin and your tongue kind of area so that's the, that's the squishy part there and these parts these lines are the hard jaw parts if that makes any sense hopefully that does let me know in the comments below if that makes sense i'm just going to draw a connecting line towards that part of the neck and then that shoulder part of the neck then what i'll do is i'll draw a line here for the back of her head and she seems to have two sort of two sort of holes for the neck for her eye and for her snout so i'll draw those little holes for the snout and for her eye section i'm also going to draw that sort of ridge part of her snout and i'm going to give her big kind of big kind of angry eyes much like how i did with the t-rex and do it like <clears throat> like so and kind of messed up a bit there um might bring the back of her mm, kind of messed up a bit all around there her eyes looking a bit weird and derpy so what i might do instead is i might work on the bottom of her mouth bring it up bring it down to the back of her mouth and then actually i should probably draw in the, the horn draw in the the, the the sort of the spiky horn on top of her eye that make make her more, look more like an indominus rex and this sort of the three kind of spiky spikes along her snout and i'm going to draw that line in there for the snout part and that looks kind of more like it and then an angry eyebrow ridge draw the back of the eye like so giving the back of the indominus rex's head these little spiky things that it's got i think it goes to about there and then what we want to do is have this thing kind of that i mean point a line here because i want that to represent how it's tilted I put the other horn around there and then i'm going to have some, some kind of um, neck separation lines along here in sort of a tubular fashion to give the impression of its neck i'm gonna put some spikes on its neck because the indominus rex has spikes and i'm gonna put some more along there like so and i'll give it a big ish angry eye like so in the same vein as um t-rex's eye but indominus rex has a slit for an 
eye. So I'm going to have the eye people kind of like that. So it's looking pretty much directly at Rexy. Maybe have a little facing down a little bit more. And at this point, I think I'm going to change Rexy's eye a little bit. So it's looking more at Indominus Rex. So like so. So I'm going to put in the membrane between the top and the bottom of the mouth. And I'm going to put in its big, mean teeth. Just random sporadic teeth. And some other teeth up that side. Because it's got random weird teeth. And then here, I'm going to follow what I did here. Have a bit of the bottom of the mouth shown up. Now, kind of act like you can sort of so with the bottom of the jaw, like that, and the bottom of the mouth, it kind of looks like the head's kind of tilted a bit. Or at least that's what I hope it looks like. So, I'm just going to put some of those big, pointy, jagged teeth around there. Another pointy tooth there. I'm actually going to give both of them, or all of them, some shading in the mouth. Just to kind of, well, especially this one, I'm going to put a lot of shading underneath. So it kind of looks like, you know, some darkness going on. Nice bit of contrast and shading. Great thing about lead is it seems to reflect light, so you can barely see much of that, which is lovely. I'm gonna put some random little um, scales along there. And Indominus Rex seems to have sort of squared scales along its jaw, so I'm only gonna put some light, loose ones. And it also has quills along the back of its neck. So I'm going to put some kind of random generic -y lines there. Put a few of them in there just to have the feathery quills or the proto feathers or whatever you want to call them. I'm going to put them back in. And I think what I'll do is I'll have the leg one leg there, and then the other leg is kind of hidden by a tail. The knee will probably be hidden by a tail, as will the calf muscle. And then I'll have like one of the legs kind of like so. Draw the bottom of the stomach. I think you might see a bit of the other, other hip, maybe. The knee would be about there, just fitting into the frame. I may have to do some adjustments to this at some point. Because normally I like to have quite a bit of, um, like to give you an idea, I like to have that amount of space, like that amount of space in between my image, but I haven't really given myself that much space on this side. One of the downfalls of being an artist is sometimes you get it wrong. Then I'm just going to draw in the tail. I'm going to do the the leg and a bit of the muscle for the leg and and such. Do it like that, and then I'm going to draw in the tail like so. And I'm going to have the tail curving in on itself, so. There's going to be a line that indicates the top of the tail, and that also folds in, and then comes the top there. Just like the bottom of the tail around here folds in to the bottom of the tail there. If 
probably do that tail a little bit better. And bring that tail in add a little bit more. And my nice messy lines. Tidy that up a bit. And then I might draw yeah, I'll draw the um the, the spikes that run along runs along um Indominus Rex's body. So I might make the back a little bit higher up as well. Some more spikes going along its back and tail. So I'm just going to tidy it up about around here. Just going to continue the spikes along the back and tail. I'm probably going to have to go through this in fineliner. I tried it once before in fineliner and kind of ruined it all, but um, I think I might be better off the second time. So I'm just going to put those spikes along the tail and finish that up. Put some <clears throat> put some lines around the tail there. I think it actually had some more spikes along there. It's kind of got three rows of spikes along its back. So I'll just add in another row of spikes there. And they're kind of coming into the tail. And then form one kind of line. And I'll probably put these sort of back plate lines. Like so. Gonna put a few little like lines around here, and then I'm gonna put in the claw for the foot, and some lines for the scales of the foot, and some padding for the foot. I've given it some like sort of bumpy, wobbly lines that gives it the impression of padding for the foot. I'm going to give it the ankle, only a very small ankle, much like there. Actually, I've given it quite of a quite a chunky ankle to be honest. I'll give it another ankle this side. Most of the foot's going to be hidden, <laughs> so I'm just going to have this foot mainly showing. So I'm just going to add in some little lines for the muscles. Uh, just tidying it up a little bit. Refining that. And now I'm just going to refine the hand a bit. So I'm just going to fix that. Do the padding of the finger bits. Thing there. Going to give it a big claw. As you've already seen. Another big claw. And then some scales along there. Some more scales. And the opposable thumb. And I'm just going to fix up the hand a bit, and then I'm just going to, I guess, erase these sort of founding lines. Just hiding it up a bit. And also now I'm going to erase the foot and leg from inside the tail. So then, it, you know, got that folding tail in on itself. I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit, like so, and 
just add some little lines and detail here and there just for a bit of detail goodness. Just add a few little lines and scales here and there. And some scales around there. But otherwise, I think that's more or less done. So, that is the drawing side of T-Rex versus Indominus Rex cartoon style. The next stage in this drawing will just basically be um, doing line art with ink. So, if you're not interested in that, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like and a you know, comment and all that good stuff. If you do want to see the continuation of this, I'm going to be doing that as a, you know, another little video of just like, you know, inking it all up. Probably, most likely, all that will be time lapse. So, um, that, to be honest, that next video will probably be this time lapse and then that time lapse. So, if you're interested in watching that as well. Otherwise, hopefully, you learned something from this. Um, and yeah, um, I just basically wanted to draw a T Rex facing off with Indominus Rex in the cartoon format. It may change a little bit from um, this in the thumbnail, but um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheerio for now.